no longer can it be said that we can afford to give everyone a fair go. It is morally justified to punish an asylum seeker for the crimes of a smuggler. I refuse to believe that denying justice and dignity to another diminishes my humanity. Rather, I will hold that no matter how cruel, deterrence is ultimately compassionate. I can't accept that to grieve for those lost at sea yet punish those who survive the journey is inconsistent. This must be understood. It is vital for our national security that children who arrive here by boat are incarcerated indefinitely. It is absurd to consider that it is possible to look after our own while helping the globally homeless. We live in fear of the most vulnerable people on the planet because we trust our politicians when they tell us to. It will not be the case that we can provide safety for those fleeing danger. And I tell you this, seeking asylum as a human right is a lie, and instead, it is illegal for an asylum seeker to come here without a visa. I will hold that difference is something to be afraid of. I do not concede that only citizenship and circumstance separate us from the life of a refugee. I will teach my children that peace and prosperity is only for people like us, and that we don't have room for those seeking freedom and a better life. I cannot believe our nation still has boundless plains to share. And all this will be true for Australia if we don't choose to reverse it. Our nation still has boundless plains to share. I cannot believe we don't have room for those seeking freedom and a better life, and that peace and prosperity is only for people like us. I will teach my children that only citizenship and circumstance separate us from the life of a refugee. I do not concede that difference is something to be afraid of. I will hold that it is illegal for an asylum seeker to come here without a visa is a lie, and instead, seeking asylum is a human right. I tell you this, we can provide safety for those fleeing danger, and it will not be the case that we live in fear of the most vulnerable people on the planet because we trust our politicians when they tell us to. It is possible to look after our own while helping the globally homeless. It is absurd to consider that it is vital for our national security that children who arrive here by boat are incarcerated indefinitely. This must be understood. It is inconsistent to grieve for those lost at sea, yet punish those who survive the journey. I can't accept that no matter how cruel, deterrence is ultimately compassionate. Rather, I will hold that denying justice and dignity to another diminishes my humanity. I refuse to believe that it is morally justified to punish an asylum seeker for the crimes of a smuggler. We can afford to give everyone a fair go. No longer can it be said that Australia has lost its heart.